Any fallout from yesterday's uh, newly weird game? I don't know. Not really, I guess. I know Ronnie was really happy. Yeah, he, Stephanie's getting a new car. Yeah, yeah, you're thrilled. Ronnie can't afford to get her a car? I guess not. I think he makes her pay for her own stuff. Jeez. Well, wonder, it's great to be with Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, it's such a, you get to fuck a 64-year-old guy who lets you pay for everything himself. Do you pay for anything? How come you didn't buy her a car? <laughs> what do you mean, buy? She has a car. Yeah, but she, she wanted a, a new one. car. I know she wanted a new one. Why, why didn't you buy her one? Why do I have to buy her everything? Do you do you pay I, for anything for her? Everything. You do? The only thing she, she does is food. That's it. What do you mean, food? She food has to for, buy her own food? No, food for the house. She does food for the house. She pays for it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Why does she have to pay for food? Why not? She's, she's fucking gotta, you. That's she's why She's got to contribute something, man. She lives in the house, for God's sakes. You're a tough parent. I mean, boyfriend. Yeah, parent. Stop, <laughs> stop your shit, man. What time's her bedtime, Ronnie? <laughs> What's that? What he, time's her bedtime? What time's her bedtime? When she's, when she's in bed with me, that's her bedtime, man. Right. All right. Yep. Just wondered why she needed to win a contest to get a car. Um, she he should be lavishing gifts upon her. Yeah. Oh please, are you kidding me? She's, she's got a got young a, girl. She's got a friggin' maid. She does. Give me a break. She's got to pay for her own food. No, she not her <laughs> Most own. Most dudes, when a girl moves in, you pick up the tab unless you're. I complete. pick up the tab on everything. Rent, of course. Uh, she mortgage. buys her own car. She pays for her own car. I pay for everything else. Uh, suddenly, you buy her clothes? Pretty much. N- pretty much. So she buys some clothes. No, she some buys clo- the yeah. food for the she house. Works. And she pays for her own. I know. I'm just saying. You get a young girl to, to fuck you. You, you oh, lavish gifts on her. stop it. Yeah, let her save her money for when you're gone. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be around <laughs> that much longer. It's no offense. What? The thing that I'm fascinated with with Ronnie is that we all look at him and we think... He's lucky to have her, but his attitude is she's lucky to have him. Yeah. He's no, kinda... it's mutual. <laughs> Come on. Give me a break. She can't even get a car. Oh, stop it, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> because Ronnie was like, thank you. He goes, that $5,000, yeah. she can put down money for Wait car. Wait a minute. I was, that should be, half of that money should be mine, shouldn't it? <laughs> right or wrong? I gave her all of it to get, put it down on a car. What's no, wrong with that? No, it should be hers. You don't need it. What do you mean? I don't need it. What You're I mean, a famous mil- millionaire. Aren't you a voiceover <laughs> talent now? Yeah. Oh my yeah, god, man. I gotta play some of a this. A voiceover tape. talent. You heard yeah. it? Yeah. Ronnie. Uh, how did you get that? Ronnie, use oh, your Howard head. Oh, Howard TV. Yeah, right. No, but, but use your head. <laughs> the people who hired you want me to promote your cartoon. Okay. Okay. They He's on a cartoon? They didn't hire yeah. you because they think you're a great voiceover artist. Dude, they, they paid sick money for that. How much they pay you? <laughs> Seriously. Enough to get Stephanie a car. <laughs> you don't even want enough. For, for, tw- what? for 20 minutes. How much? $1,200. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's happier than a pig in shit. Oh, my. 20 I minutes I was there. 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 Hold on. Let me see. What is kind of character is he playing? Well, Ro- I don't know, but Ronnie can't Angry even... Mets fan. Ronnie can't even read. <laughs> they give him a line to do, um, it was called tetherball tool bag was the words that he had to say. He couldn't even oh, say God. it. Oh, God. Telebag tool bag. Telebag tool bag. He's saying tether bag tool bag and it's tether right. ball tool bag and he can't say it and then he tells him, oh, I like tether bag tool bag. And you go, well, that's not what we want. Yeah. Right. Telebag. Telebag. Tether ball tool bag. Tether ball tool bag. Telebag tool bag. <laughs> oh, man. Telebag tool. Why am I saying telebag? Telebag <laughs> tool bag. Ready? Yeah. Good. Telebag. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm stuck on bag, man. <laughs> Telebag tool bag. Telebag tool bag. Telebag tool bag. Oh, <laughs> Ronnie. <Telebag> tool bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you were trying. Yeah. yeah. It worked. It yeah. worked out. Did it work what, out? What cartoon out. is that? I don't, it's called... Uh, I didn't even know. Duncan, Duncan goes to buy a pinata or some bullshit mm-hmm. like that. Sounds horrible. Oh, my. It, it's, the premise is funny. You want to hear more of uh, Ronnie's acting? Sure. Please. Yeah. Hey, yo. What the freak show? 
Hey, yo! Uh -oh. With the freak show of a chin! Oh, no. Ronnie. Ronnie! Ronnie. Ronnie. With the freak show of a chin. You got down your lips, and oh, you douchebag car. There's no way you could be a yet. Not. <laughs> hey, yo! Oh. With the freak. Hey, yo, with the freak show of a chin. You got the. Hey, yo, with the freak show of a chin. Then it changed the line. <laughs> Hey yo, that freak show of Hey yo, with that freak show of a chin. You got Oh dear. Hey yo, oh. you with the freak show of a chin they're saying. <laughs> the hell's going on with you? I don't know, man. And it's not it's like, hey, the yo, big with the freak ball. show of a chin. Ten the big two ball. Too bad. <laughs> Guys, your your mind is at work right already, man. Tether the ball. Oh, you got caught already. <laughs> Come here, tether bag. Tether bag, tool ball. <laughs> Ronnie, what? What happens to you when you start trying to read voice? I don't know, life? man. You turn into you kind of turn See, into JD. I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. I got a guy like you standing there, this close to me, with a piece. I'm trying to read his paper, and I got those lights in my face, and a guy smiling and laughing as I'm trying to read it with that stupid camera in my face. But That's, this is a guy like me, not me. Yeah, not you, Richie Wilson. Okay. So you're blaming Richie for the I'm reason blaming, why... I'm blaming Richie Wilson for this. You sounded a lot like your boy J.D. on that, with the, the way you stumbled and mumbled. Whatever. That's why we work together. Did you give some of the money back when you were done? No. I mean, Hell that, no. That was a tough performance. Hell no. Sick money. <laughs> 20 minutes, man. Awesome. <laughs> That's fast cash. You got that right. I hate Gary's mustache. I hate this salt and pepper look. Of his mustache, you it hate makes me. All oh, of it. I can't stand it. Can you shave? Get rid of his mustache. What? Yeah, why, you why is it back? No, seriously, I hate your mustache. So what? Does that matter to you that no. I hate it? No. Okay. What if you loved it, you know what it is. He's it. got giant <laughs> lips, and it's like it even. Kind of it's like a big circle. Be? It's a big black circle around his lips. What kind of person would I be if I just like acquiesced to every? Ridiculous what if I told you it's sickening? <laughs> then it's sickening. Okay. Do you have, listen, if I came and shaved everything off tomorrow, would you have any respect for me? Really yeah, I would, because you, because you trust my opinion. But you're, it's just one opinion. What about my opinion? Uh, your opinion counts. Fine, leave it. I'm just telling you, Robin, what do you think of it? I don't care it's about not, opinion at all. Well, no, no, I no. Come on, Gary, opinion. because it's not really a shaped mustache. It's, a, it's just yeah. like a black line across your face what is, what above is, your mouth. A thick black line. Don't you want me to find your face as pleasant as possible? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm just saying it as a friend. Can I say it as a friend? It looks horrible. You're no friend. When Am it comes I to not? This. I mean, I'll you're not why. Tom Selleck. Because you told me. Yeah, I, right. Would you, like, he's Tom Selleck. would you like me to go and pull all the tapes of it's Gary? Just, hold on. Let me finish. No, let me finish. Let pepper. me finish. It's salt and pepper. Let me go now. pull all the tapes of Gary. Oh, my God, your big teeth and gums. You should grow a mustache and cover it. It's disgusting. Yeah. All right. What, I'm just telling you. It's I know, but it's your whimsical you know mood. You've got, uh, and I'm not saying this as an insult. You know you have big, tire-like tire yes. tire lips and big teeth. Right. And then when the mustache is gray, and it just looks like everything's but dirty around that Here's area. the thing. I've had this now for five, yeah. six years. And, yeah. and you right. have, and no, it just and, hit me. But why does it bother you today? I don't know. It's just hitting me. Right. And then if I do it tomorrow, you go. It's been bothering you, me for a while. I've been contemplating saying something. And then, and here's what I'll shave it. You'll go, oh my God, your face is so big. Grow it back. Look, I'm going to be honest I with don't you. know if your beard and your mustache are different colors. They are. You Can should I say something, actually Robin? sport them. <laughs> I know I'm not handsome. My worst feature, my nose, it's a big, giant nose, one of my worst features among many. Imagine if I drew a big, hairy circle around my nose yeah, to draw it more attention to it. it. Gary's worst <laughs> feature. Gary's got a nice nose. He's got nice eyes. All right, his eyebrows are a little weird. But his worst feature, those gigantic lips and teeth and everything. And then he draws this big, dark circle around it. I'm just saying, I, and, think, and it, I think it would draw less attention. I stood right here, right on, the, right on the spot where you said... My God, your lips and teeth are so big. Do something to cover it up. Well, if you cover, if your hair covered your lips, I'd say. It was well, that's good. ridiculous. But then you look like that fucking walrus thing. <laughs> but I don't understand his mustache because it really, I don't. It's not shaped well. Well, it's shaped. what do you mean? What is that shaped? It's trimmed. I trim it constantly. In fact, Tony just trimmed it last week. It gets. I mean, it's not cut. If I cut it short, you'll be like, "What are you, the guy from the artist?" I mean, I don't know what it is you want. Yeah, and by the way, I don't right, care what it is you want. You're right. Okay, fine. Do what you want. I'm just telling you.
Oh my God. I was trying I to help. I'm sorry. It's no, coming but, off. It's coming off as uh, mean. Well, I tell you because Booey. because you change your mind every week. That's why. No, I don't. When's the last time ba, I said it? About what? About your mustache. No, but I'm saying that I'll do it. If I came in tomorrow with nothing on, I think it would help. You would be like, oh, my God, put it back on. Yeah, maybe I would. Well, try it. Let's see if I like it. I love you. I do. I'm just trying to help. I do. I do love you. I'm smothered with your love. I love you. And your help. I think you're the best. I do. I love you. No, I got it. I got it. I just, you know. Get to let people be themselves. Gary. Yes. I noticed something different just now when, when Howard was criticizing your goatee. You're normally able to laugh this stuff off very easily, just brush it off your shoulder, but this this particularly stung you or, you know. No, I just reacted to it. I mean, it's, 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 it, he's saying it looks bad, I'm saying it doesn't. You've had this goatee for quite some time now. This is new. It's got to be five or six years. Did you notice how we're looking at you bizarrely no, during the... No, no, I did not notice that. What sparked this in your opinion? I have no idea. Will you change your look based on... I will change my look when I feel that my look needs to be changed, but I'm not going to chase... Like I said, if I chase Howard's opinion, I'm telling you, I would guarantee you if I shave this off tomorrow, he would go, oh my God, look at that face, put it back on. You feel, in the past, Howard has indicated that the lack of facial hair accentuates bad features. Uh, well, he hasn't, he hasn't said grow something, but he goes, maybe you should grow something because your face is freaking me out. And now you've grown it, and now he hates it. But I grew it for me, not for him. I like that. So the goatee stays. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, you know who's on the phone? Iron Sheik. Our old friend Iron Sheik. He, I want, you know, Iron Sheik, he's appearing everywhere, but... He does want to get the word out. Uh, the guy loves wrestling. And uh, Iron Sheik, you're, how, how are you? Hello, Mr. Howard. How are you, sir? Long time no speak. Yes, sir. Pleasure to speak to you today, yes. Mr. Sir. Sheiky, I, I just want to know uh, where you stand on the Olympics eliminating wrestling. I know you wanted to get the word out. Well, uh, I'm not really 100% sure. I wish my agents, Eric Sims and, and Megan Boys had an answer. But I think the reason they canceled the Olympic because they don't draw like my company, WWE, number one company in the world. And people go always, anywhere they go, WWE sold out and business excellent. But, but I think in the Olympic, they don't draw as much as uh, WWE. So I think it's one of the reasons, but I wish I had more uh, to know, and you can ask my agents or uh, So maybe, maybe the WWE ruined it for the Olympics when you think about it. When you when you really get down to it, Sheik, uh, yeah, Olympic, as you say, in the Olympics, nobody cares about wrestling, and yet the WWE is successful. Maybe they ruined it for uh, the Olympics. I really didn't, don't know 100% about it, but you know and I know number one company in the world is WWE. People watch it more than any other sport, and, and that's because probably uh, Olympic, they don't have enough wrestling fans like WWE. Sheik, you sound WWE. sad. Are you sad? I'm sorry, sir. You sound sad. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel sad. I, I grew up with this uh, Olympic wrestling, but now all of a sudden they cancel it. But uh, nothing I can do. About How's it. your health? Exactly. How is your health? My health is sometimes good, uh, Mr. Stone, sometimes not. I'm doing not much, and I just stay home most of the time. And you still got that wife, or did she leave you? No, still here together. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and money, uh, for many years, resting money, and I can bother me, and I'm not resting anymore. Only I watch every Monday, Monday, and um, no, not not much. I'm just um, uh, home and um, not much to do. All right. Well, I want you to check out the Iron Sheik roast April 5th at Caroline's on Broadway in Manhattan. The Sheik will be there. And they are going to roast you, Sheik. Are you going to be able to handle that? Uh, you are so sensitive, and you really are a sensitive guy. When these, you understand a roast, they're going to make fun of you. 
Well, I, I love you. I have a lot of respect for you, Mr. Stone. You know I'm sensitive. I don't, I'm not uh, going for too much cartoon joke. And I don't know who's going to do that, Ross Star. Yeah, I mean, what if uh, Kurt Angle or one of these guys shows up who you don't like? Well, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I don't think so. I'm interested about that role. What if Hulk Hogan uh, shows up? Well, uh, you know, Hulk Hogan, and uh, for many years I got uh, uh, wrestling with him before this. Uh, yeah, but don't you don't like know, him. Uh, you don't like the Hulk. Well, um, in the ring, a different situation. I don't like him, but after we are done with the wrestling and uh, he do his private life, I do mine. And did you see the uh, Hulk's porn? Did you see he had a porno uh, with with the girl? Uh, I, I really don't know. No, not I much. See. I'm just yes. I'm just something crazy. Not much to do. Right. And um, yeah, I'm, uh, I did not feel like before, uh, Mister. Wow. Stone. Oh, man. Well, the Iron Sheik has a line of T-shirts for sale at theironsheik.org. And these T-shirts, what what are they? They're a picture of you? I really don't know who makes that T-shirt. I really, I really don't know who's going to sell it or who's going to get the money. But uh, seems Why to are me, you promoting it, it then? Uh, Sheik, it always seems like you never get any money out, off of these things. Uh, absolutely. I'm just... I leave it everything to that uh, Megan Bush, their Twitter, or that Jabroni, my agents, Eric Sims, they handle everything. The only money I make from my T-shirt was a WWE number one company in the beer uh, before. But now that Mickey Mouse money, they can have it. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> right. Well, I know there's always been an argument in your camp about uh, money. Uh, your, your agent always claims that you ask for more and more money and he doesn't have it. You claim you're owed the money. Uh, I hope you make some money on the T-shirt. I hope you, I hope they pay you for the roast. I hope they, they at WrestleCon, they, they give you some money, for God's sake. Yeah, I hope so, too. The only money I make from number one component in the world, WWE and Mr. McMahon. Oh, the WWE of- supports you? WWE actually gives you money still? Before, I don't know, still I get a little bit sometimes, but the rest of them is Mickey Mouse money. I don't even give a fuck. They can have that money, and I'm even not interested to go with that rose. But if they need me and something better than not, nothing, I go. But the number one money I make before, uh, and, and from Mr. McMahon and his company, could I get caught with the hacks of the different situation, and I'm, uh, and I'm but now, I'm just uh, not interested. Sheik, not more. Sheik, you're getting older. You're getting older. Uh, would you like to go back to Iran one more time before you die? Oh, I'd I, I love to, but I'm like Rick Flair. I'm broke. I don't have money, and I'm home. And uh, But if I had the money, if somebody would take care of me, I'd love to go. What do you do uh, all day? Do, do you just watch TV all day? Is that your day pretty much? Yeah, I just... Uh, uh, every Monday I watch Monday Raw and, uh, and and then some another time I was, only thing I do watch uh, uh, Good Morning America and uh, NBC uh, NBC Mad Love Mad Love. This is weird. Uh, Hulk Hogan is on the phone, Sheik. <laughs> Something like that. Just Sheik, this is weird. Know. Hulk Hogan's on the phone. Hold on a second. Let me put him on. Let's see what he has to say. What do you have to say to yourself, Mr. Hogan? What's happening, brother? Hey, how you doing? This is Iron Sheik. Hey, Sheik, what's going down, brother? Sheiky. Oh, I'm making that, brother. How are you? Yeah, you sound like shit. And you know what? You used to wrestle like shit, too. Fuck you. you no, fuck you. Let me tell you Let me tell you something, brother. I remember when Sheik used to offer me blowjobs hard for falafel backstage fuck at Madison Square Garden. Fuck you. Without other Sheik, you're a fucking nobody. You are a fucking cocksucking fuck. You work in the fucking gay bar. Fuck you and have a good day. Go fuck yourself. His right. cock smell like caramel shit, Howard. Uh, all right, that. Hulk. I thought you were calling up to say something nice. You know Sheik isn't feeling great. All right. That, that, that's enough of that. Really great. He wrestled like shit. The guy's horrible. Ah, uh, come on. You're, you're out of your mind. He was hey, the, Sheik, are you he, selling T-shirts? I need to wipe my ass. <laughs> fuck you and fuck you. Your ass. Your ass is in the zone. Right. in my tennis cock. So I put you... I jerked off on your cabin back in 77 at the garden, Sheik. Fuck off. I used to take Sheik and keep... Jerk off all over his fucking turban. <laughs> well, I know that ain't true. If you jerked off on the Sheik's turban, he would have killed you. Oh, we stuck to a set for weeks, Howard. You look like a fucking jerk off. Yeah, right. All right, goodbye. 
Sheik. I'm so- Sheik, you there? Oh, fuck. I lost the Sheik. Oh, oh dear. Uh, Gary, get the Sheik back. <laughs> I want to give a proper goodbye. Wow. Two seconds, Harry. Two yeah, seconds. sorry. It's my fault. I thought I had him on permanent whatever. You understand, Robin, permanent whatever. Permanent whatever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that apparently was not the case. Yeah. I tried to get rid of Hulk Hogan there, and I ended up hanging up on both of them. I feel awful. Yeah, the Sheik probably thinks you hung up. Yeah, Sheik probably thinks I got rid of him. <laughs> probably lost him. Line 19, he's uh, Thank you. Sheik, I was so upset. Hello? Sheik, I'm sorry. I was so upset with Hulk Hogan and what he was saying, and I hung up on him, but I, I, I inadvertently hung up on you. No, no, no problem. But I'm yeah. not in the mood like my young day to I can cuss or scream too much. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much. Yeah, like to, the sheik yeah. has to keep it under control. Yeah, sheik. Yeah. I, I applaud you for for thank being. You, the, I applaud you for being the mature one in that conversation. Right. Thank you, Robin. Hello. How are you, Robin? Is, are you I'm good. Right? I'm good. It's good to hear your voice. Yeah. God bless you guys, and thanks for Mr. Howard. Thanks, sheik. Thank you, Howard, and God bless you. Thanks for calling me. You're the best. Can, yes, feel, feel well. Bye-bye. Bye. That's the Iron Sheik, everybody. Okay, so it says, let's go match, let's go, you know, stuck in traffic. Yeah, we're starting with some chants. That's basically, you guys. So what's with the clap, clap? You're going to be doing stuck in traffic. And it's not just going to be you, because we're going to loop in a bunch of other voices, so it's going to sound like a crowd, so. Let's go match. Let's go Mets. Stuck in traffic. Stuck in traffic. Let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. Stuck in traffic. Clap, clap, clap. (laughs) Oh, boy. It's going to be one of those days. Hey, yo. Watermelon. Head. <laughs> Yo, Richie, d- d- I can't see the fucking thing. It- it's blinding me. Seriously, hey. now, now I'm seeing spots. See, that's that's it's fucking killing me. Better? Yeah, now it's too dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Yo, you better not be sitting in front of me at that Met game with that f- big. Yo, you better not be sitting in front of me at that Met game with that giant blimp on your shoulders because I may have to tear your friggin' head off. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you better not be sitting in front of me at that Met game with that giant blimp on your shoulders because I, I may have to tear your head off. Ugh. And right after I get my tattoo, look at my tattoo! Look at this thing. And right after I get my tattoo, look at my tattoo. Look at this thing. I got a stunt clapper, Richie. Not not everybody gets that. (laughs) Not everybody needs it. Fuck off, dick. (laughs) Yeah, you get over here and do this shit, okay? You ready? R.A. Dickie. R.A. Dickie. Dicky business. Dicky business. Dicky business. Dicky business. Hey, yo, buddy, is that one of those electric cars? <laughs> hey, yo, buddy, is that one of those electric cars? <laughs> hey, yo, buddy, is that one of those? Is that one of them? Oh, okay. Hey, yo, buddy, is that one of them electric cars? Hey, yo, buddy, is that one of those electric cars? Keep saying those. Because it, it sounds right. Give me one second, Robin. Let me write that down there. Cross out those and put them. Yes. I'm retarded. It's like kindergarten. You have to write everything down. <laughs> wow, you're a real tool, man. You're a real tool, man. Wow, you're a real tool, man. Wow, you're a real tool, man. Wow. You're a real tool, man. Man. Hey, yo, what the freak show? Hey, yo, with the freak show of a chin. Hey, yo, 
with the freak show of a chin. You got there on your lips and you douchebag car. There's no way you could be a yet not move. Hey yo, with the freak Hey yo, with the freak show of a chin. You got the Hey yo, with the freak show of a chin. Your lips. Uh. Hey yo, that freak show of Hey yo, with that freak show of a chin. You got I'm here to clap for you. Was there a chance? Uh tether ball tool bag. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's no clapping though, according to this. According to that, yeah. According, but now there's clapping. Yeah. You like the clapping. You like coming in to clap. It's my job. Are we ready? Telebag tool bag. Telebag tool bag. Tether ball tool bag. Oh, I like telebag. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Ready? Telebag. Telebag. <laughs> All right, go. Teleball tool bag. Teleball tool bag. Telebag tool bag. Telebag tool. Why am I saying telebag? <laughs> Tetherball tool bag. Ready? Yeah. Good. Telebag. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm stuck on bag, man. <laughs> Tetherball tool bag. Tetherball tool bag. Tetherball tool bag. Tetherbag tool bag. Tetherbag tool bag. <laughs> Tetherball tool bag. <laughs>